in third type polymers are classified based on or classification of polymers based on mode of polymerization classification of polymers based on mode of polymerization so once again what is polymerization reaction the process of formation of polymers from their respective monomers is called as polymerization reaction so that, that is nothing but the preparation of polymers is called as polymerization reaction we can classify polymers based on mode of polymerization into two types into two types they are number one addition polymers addition polymers so this is somewhat most important synthetic classification second one is condensation polymers the two types of polymers are addition polymers and condensation polymers first of all let us learn about what are addition polymers generally the addition polymers are produced from addition reaction of two or more or huge amount of monomers of same type or different type then the resulting polymers are called as addition polymers what is our condition they resulting from they resulting from addition reaction addition reaction of large scale large scale monomers or monomers in large scale quantity so the resulting polymers are called as addition polymers large scale quantitatively here generally which type of monomers can results the formation of addition polymers here they must be with unsaturation unsaturated polymers unsaturated polymers like alkenes alkynes alka dienes etc okay once again addition polymers generally resulting from addition reaction of huge quantity of monomers together which type of monomers can generally produces polymers are unsaturated sorry unsaturated monomers not polymers unsaturated monomers like alkenes alkynes and alkadiene etc this type of unsaturated monomers when reacted in huge quantity together then the resulting polymers are called as addition polymers here these addition polymers are further two types homo polymers okay here if any addition polymer any addition polymer resulting from monomers of same type monomers of same type are called as are called as homo polymers homo polymers that means the monomer units present in such polymer are similar type of monomer units example let us consider polythene let us consider polythene here let us write the synthesis of polythene ch2 
double bond CH2. What is this? Ethene. When n number of ethene molecule, what is n here? They may be 10, 20, 30, 100,000, etc. Huge amount of ethene. Now we can consider ethenes as monomers because they are going to produce polymers. The chemical species which are going to produce polymers are called as monomers. Here the condensation, sorry, the reaction expected, addition reaction expected between two same ethene molecules and finally produces CH2, CH2 taken N. A long poly, sorry, a long CH2, CH2 linkage identified from this chemical reaction. So this is an addition reaction. It is an addition reaction. Hence, the resulting polymer is called as addition polymer. Second one. The, this addition polymer resulting from only one type of monomer, monomers, hence it is called as homo polymer. Already we well known about in Greek language, homo means same. That means the resulting polymer build up of similar type of monomers together, hence it is called as homo polymers. And one more, one more type of addition polymers are there. If any addition polymer, any addition polymer, addition polymer <coughs> which results, <coughs> results from two or more different monomers two or more different monomers are called as are called as copolymer or copolymers <coughs>